Huh. Let's talk about how a taste of your own medicine can help you to supersize and grow your business. Sharon Horn Nelson here, and our idiom expression today is a taste of your own medicine. This is one of those idioms that's been around for a long, long time. It actually is from the famous storyteller Aesop's Fables, one of his stories about a swindler who sold fake medicine to people claiming that it could cure anything and everything only to become ill and when he became ill people fed him his own medicine and he knew that it wasn't going to work because it was fake so that's where that that tale and story and that's where this idiom comes from uh it means that we're facing the same thing the same negative situation or treatment that we have inflicted upon other people now it's pretty hard for us to admit that sometimes we don't always do or say the right thing and sometimes we hurt people's feelings and we do the same thing in our businesses as we're growing and building and supersizing our business we don't see all and know all and understand all in terms of how we impact others and we we can do that we can be open to feedback open to people's experiences with us and we are always going to to weigh those with a grain of salt and who we are trying to reach and, and uh, serve with our business but we also have to be willing to self-reflect see ourselves and the impact that we're having on others we can we can see that by asking for feedback we can reflect on experiences that we've had we can look at the results we're getting and this is a hard one for most of us entrepreneurs and business owners we look at our results and there's this Thing where we like to make excuses and not not we or you or me but as human beings we make a lot of excuses we we blame other things for the results we're getting but until we're willing to actually look at reflect on the results we're getting and analyze why we're getting those results we might be putting things out into the world in a way that isn't in our own best interest as we're building and growing and supersizing our business or in the our customers and clients the people that we're here to serve best interests I am a firm believer in karma. Didn't always believe in karma, but I certainly do now. Uh, what we put out into the world is what we get back. Well, I, I say this all the time. I, I remember always saying it repeatedly to the point where my kids heard it ad nauseum. What you put into things is what you get out of them. What you put into school is what you get out of it. What you put into a course or a job or a role or a relationship is what you get out of it. You're never gonna get more out of something than actually the energy and the value that you add to that thing. And that's especially true of our businesses. Um, how you treat other people comes back to you. So I, I don't understand why you'd ever treat anyone badly, but if you so choose to, don't be surprised if karma slaps you and it won't slap you from the person that you treated poorly, but it'll come back at you in another way. If you treat one customer poorly, Guess what? The word gets out. Word of mouth is an incredibly powerful thing. So treat people the way that you want to be treated. Uh, people see who we really are. Now, everybody isn't going to see who we really are, but enough people see who we really are and what our intention is based on our behaviors, based on our uh, the way we treat other people, based on our results. And then they decide whether they do want to do business with us or not. So again, uh, you, you can fool some of the people some of the time, but you can't fool all the people all the time. And you can never fool yourself. We always have to live with ourselves. I think that's why building a business and especially supersizing your business is one of the greatest personal development projects that you'll ever undertake. Even though you knew didn't know that you were doing that when you first started your business. Mm -hmm. I'd love to know your take on this particular idiom and expression, a taste of your own medicine. Uh, I can think of literally hundreds of examples of where I've seen people behave in ways that weren't positive toward others and something happened to, to just knock them off their pedestal or their supposed pedestal and uh, they found themselves facing the same challenges that they were inflicting on other people. All right, have an awesome day. I will, of course, speak to you tomorrow. Another interesting idiom. What does it mean? Where does it come from? And how might you use it to build and grow and supersize your business right now? Have an amazing day.